Alright, now that I've got the Gucci's, I can finally get that superb soup. Huh, pumpkin soup. I wonder what that would taste like in real life. Too bad I don't have a show about nerdy food. Wait a minute. The E-Tank drink. Now, this one is actually from Japan. See that? I was expecting it to be blue. Um, I'm just glad it's not yellow or some other terrifying color. Oh, well, let's go kill Blazetta. Hi, I'm Foul Shane, and welcome to Snack Attack, where we make your favorite fantasy foods a reality. In today's episode, we'll be making Yeto's superb pumpkin soup from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. The Legend of Zelda franchise has always been known for its wide array of mystical items, and few are more iconic than the magical potions that grant Link aid in his time of need. While the most recognizable are the red, green, and blue potions, the series has been known to provide its hero with more unique potables on occasion. While it may be short of impossible to tell what goes into creating any one of these beneficial brews, there is one whose primary ingredients are provided through the course of completing a dungeon. In the Snow Peak Ruins, a Yeti named Yeto requests your assistance in whipping up a soup that will cure his wife Yetta's illness. While you can sample the unfinished soup teeming with reek fish at any time, it doesn't offer the full eight heart punch until you provide Yeto with two things, an Ordon pumpkin and goat cheese. In order to replicate this tasty treat, you'll need the following ingredients. Two pounds of pumpkin, seeded, peeled, and diced. Three quarters cups of white onion, chopped. Four cloves of garlic, cut into quarters. Four and a half cups of fish stock. Half a cup of goat cheese. One and a quarter cups of cream. One salmon filet. One quarter cup of olive oil. And salt, pepper, and fresh basil to taste. For your first step, you're going to want to mix the pumpkin, the onions, and the garlic in a large bowl together with the olive oil. Be sure to toss it enough so that each piece gets evenly coated throughout the bowl. Next, pour the mixture into a large frying pan and place it over medium heat. Roast until every piece is soft and has nice brown edges. Pour the roasted items into a large soup pot and mix in the fish stock. Turn the heat to medium and cook for 45 minutes or until fully cooked. With about 10 minutes or so left on the clock, you can feel free to begin preparing your fish. Salt and pepper your filet to your liking, then pan fry either side in a little bit of olive oil for about two minutes per side or until the outsides are faintly browned. Once your salmon is done, take it off the heat and set it aside for the time being. With the soup fully boiled, remove the pot from the heat and carefully pour the contents into your food processor. Add your cream and the goat cheese and blend until it's completely mixed. Now you can return to your fillets and shred them into as thin strips as you please. You can choose to either toss them into the food processor or add them into the bowl afterwards. Finally, with the salt, pepper, and basil, season the soup to your personal preference. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to choose a suitable container for your meal. For ease of access and travel, I prefer the classic bottle. Now to give it the old taste test. Mmm, that is good. The taste of the roasted pumpkin, the basil, the salt, and everything just blends together to make an amazing taste that is sure to keep you warm in all of your snow-based journeys. This has been Snack Attack. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a date with a Yeti. Hey everyone, I just wanted to thank you for checking out Snack Attack's new look. If you enjoyed watching, feel free to let me know by hitting the subscribe button on the left. You can also check out the very first Snack Attack, or one of my many Let's Play videos by clicking the annotations to the right. Have a fantasy food item or recipe you'd like to see come alive? Let me know in the comments below.